Hey guys, uh, tonight we are reacting to Supernatural Season 2 Episode 18. Uh, it is Hollywood Babylon. Hollywood Babylon. So in previous episodes, uh, there were... Um, the, uh, those episodes, I mean, uh, were Monster of the Week episodes mostly. Mm -hmm. We didn't see much of the Sam, of the Sam plot. I know, it, it's just girl. Sam, uh, uh, episode 17. Yeah, Werewolf. Yeah, I remember. So uh, it was uh, episode seventeen. It was about uh, uh, the werewolf girl. Actually, that was a very emotional episode in the end when Sam had had to kill her. I I do know that even Dean uh, cried a little bit at the end. So it was very emotional, especially at the end. Th that was the first girl that Sam like a uh, bond with after the after Jess. That's my opinion. So it was a very emotional episode, but then again, those episodes, uh, pre previous two or three episodes, were uh, mostly Monster of the Week episodes. There wasn't anything about Sam, so we hope that in the next few episodes, uh, many things about Sam and the, the whole like main plot of the of the show will, of this season will be revealed. So basically, we have five episodes left, and we hope that we will watch three episodes tonight and before we start uh, with the reaction uh, if you are watching any of our reactions you uh, should turn on subtitles because uh, during the reaction we speak in our language or comment or mostly I mean uh, the only thing the only time when we do speak in English is beginning and the end of the reaction so uh, now we are reacting to episode uh, 18 <laughs> Get out of here now! No, Brody, we are not leaving! We have got to find my sister. No! No, I am getting out of here right now! Brody! Brody, get back here! Brody! God, you son of a bitch! Hey, working on a movie like this? Where crap's bound to happen. Frankie thinks the stage is haunted. Like, for real. All I'm saying is, they call rap, I get done, and I get out of here. <laughs> Brody, come back, you son of a bitch! Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now to the right here is Stars Hollow. It's the setting for the television series Gilmore Girls. And if we're lucky, we might even catch one of the show stars. Come on. Let's finish the tour. All right, so this crew guy, what's his name? Frank Jabby. Frank Jabby, you got a death certificate or a coroner's report or anything? Well, no, but uh, it's L.A., you know? Might not even be his real name. But the girl who found him, she said she saw something. A vanishing figure. What's the girl's name? Uh, Tara Benchley. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tara Benchley? From Fear.com and Ghost Ship, Tara Benchley? Dude, why didn't you say so? I mean, who says horror has to be dark? I mean, it's just, it's sort of depressing, don't you think? Uh, excuse me, uh, green shirt guy? Yeah, yeah, you, come here. You get me a uh, smoothie from Crafty. You want a what from who? You are a PA. This is what you do. Yeah, yeah. He uh, one smoothie coming right up. What's a PA? I think they're kind of like slaves. Hey, why don't we take it from? Uh, come on, it'll be fun. In action. Come on, it'll be fun. Contra omnipotentum ob sacro hos manes ut juxtum achedent et fiant voluntas mea. Mm, the wonderful. Listen, I did dig up some stuff about stage nine's history. Yeah? Yeah, four people died messy here over the past 80 years. Two suicides and two fatal accidents. Ooh, nice Any one of those could be a vengeful spirit? Yeah. Just gotta narrow it down more. I'll get right on that. I, I'm, I'm a big fan. 
I love Jim Boogie Man. Oh, God, what a terrible script. Uh, but thank you. The crew guy, Frank, did, I mean, did you know him? Uh, no, not that well. That's funny. It's like no one around here actually knew the guy. I thought a picture. Uh, you do? Yeah, I take Polaroids of all the crew. It's just it's one of those things you do to kill time on set. Hmm. Come on, you go, whatever. Um, right there. You're still alive, and you're not Frank Jaffe. Uh, no. You were... You were Desert Soldier Number 4 in Metal Storm oh, and Destruction of Jared Sen. I was. I knew I recognized you. I am a huge fan. <laughs> I mean, your turn is a tractor crash victim in Critters 3. Wow. Yeah. These right, days, it's all about new media, building buzz. They say, I'm the new lonely girl. Who? And the ghost, Tara Song, projected on the screen of diffusion. Isn't that kind of cruel, They're messing with their heads like that? Hey, I just play the part. I don't write the script. Now we're trying to use us. It doesn't matter. We're not going anywhere till we find Wendy and her sister. Got it? No good for sound. I'm getting some kind of feedback. Uh, that's one. All right. Like, the kids do this Latin chant, and that makes the ghosts show up? Yeah. Well, see, but if the ghosts are in hell, how do they hear the chanting? I mean, <laughs> what, they have super hearing? Well, it's a logic mob. The rules don't track. Marty, you're the writer. What if I throw in an explainer? Yeah, that'd be super. Excuse me, I gotta check some messages. Has McGee seen this? Well, I like the whole body paint black and white thing, but gee, I, I don't think those neck wounds are gonna, really going to read on camera. Oh, my God. Right up. They must have super hearing. <laughs> What would a ghost be scared of? Maybe, uh, maybe shotguns. Okay, that makes even less sense than salt. These people are idiots. We don't really work here. You know, I thought you hated being a PA. I don't know. It's not so bad. I mean, I kind of feel like part of the team, you know? Brad's a doornail, no question. Copy that. Copy right, what? Copy that. What did you say? The news reports are right. Brad's a doornail. They're aware. Who's aware? Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, uh, what? The newspaper's right. Brad's a doornail, no question about it. I guess it's a good thing we didn't skip down. Oh, yeah. come on, I want you to hear something. Yeah. Copy that. On my way. EVP. From the night of Brad's stage dive. All of a sudden, I'm getting electromagnetic readings at the wazoo. For some reason, it's a legit haunting now. What's your point? There's a scene in the movie where people say that the, the camera caught a ghost on film. Apparently, in the background of one of the scenes, there was this boy that nobody remembers from set. Spirit photography. I've seen her before. Here, check this out. Yeah, go for Ozzy. No, I don't have a 20 on Tara. I think she's 10 100. Okay, copy that. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Elise Drummond, starlet back in the 30s. Ah, I think I'm not An affair with the studio exec. He uses her up, fires her, leaves her destitute. So Elise hangs herself from stage nine's rafters right into a scene they're shooting. She's like our man Brad. So what, she's got it in for the studio brass? Possibly. I mean, it's a motive, and Brad's death matches hers exactly. Hey, guys. Producer Walker here. Hello?
veliko, veliki grudnik hey. nije bio na lik, je bio mal neki hey, brod i što sam I'm studio na lik. Somebody could get hurt here. this time either it's not our ammo well, well, we already torched her so what are we dealing with another ghost maybe yeah but these things don't usually tag team <laughs> listen to my invocation <laughs> team that's the real deal a necromantic summoning ritual <laughs> what the hell is that doing in a hollywood movie what you mean that latin crap no, man, that's Walter. Walter Dixon, the original writer. You like that garbage? Wait, Wal Walter the PA, Walter? No, he's not a PA. He's got a clause in his contract that allows him to come on set. But he wrote the invocations. He wrote a whack job screenplay. There's no pace, there's no love interest. It's all wackadoo exposition. I had to cut like 90% of it to make it readable. Another 10% to make it good. So let's say somewhere down the line, Walter learned some pretty black magic. Yeah, and let's say he's pissed at these people for wrecking his movie. Oh, what does it mean? We're checking out. Placed it with cleavage and fart jokes. It was real. Who gives a rat's ass about real? We're talking about ghosts here, Walter. There's no such thing. That's where you're wrong, Martin. Contra. Obsectro. Hunc spiritum. Juxta. Et facientum voluntatum. Mayhem. Okay, nut job. End of meeting. You were one hell of a PA. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Walter, Walter, pl don't. Manes omnes ad me venite. Now give it to me. There. Okay, now no one can have it. Walter, you brought them back. <gasps> Forced them to murder. They're not going to be very happy with you. Yeah? So why not? You find out there's an afterlife, and this is what you do with it. I need a little jazz on the page. Someone knew about the dog. 
fruits and all that. Uh, so guys, this is our reaction to Hollywood, Hollywood Babylon. It is episode 18, yeah. Uh, again, it was Monster of the Week episode. Mm, there was nothing uh, related to the main plot of this season. But anyway, I enjoyed this episode. I liked when Dean is, I don't know, <laughs> funny and all. Like, he eats everything and then he, ha he has this... Uh, funny faces and funny lines and I don't know he's all caught up in movies and something like that and Sam is just like reacting on him like dude oh my god, <laughs> oh my god and something like that so um, I don't know it was like regular Monster of the Week episode uh, film uh, in Hollywood filming some kind of movie so yeah it was funny it was funny episode and, and I enjoyed I enjoyed this kind of um, not too dark episodes so that's it so that's yeah uh, so guys that's it uh, we won't uh, we won't be like commenting too much because we have two more episodes to watch this night so uh, this was our reaction episode was funny and we really liked it uh, if you like our reactions subscribe because we are uh, trying to uh, watch more episodes every day and every week so that we can like finished with the first five seasons uh, until uh, before season 14 uh, premiere. So that's it for this episode.